Uh, Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Kadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, preaching this word truthfully and sincerely. And Shalom to the Akim, scattered through the four corners of the globe, preaching the word truthfully and sincerely. And Shalom to the Akim, that be like unto the speckled bird, preaching the word truthfully and sincerely. And I say Shalom to you, uh, Akim, out there. And this is a uh, sit-down lesson for in the news of uh, November the 29th, uh, 2022. On this uh, Tuesday morning at 9.33 a.m. Central Standard Time. And this is a news article from RT.com. Uh, business news from alternative news around the world from RT.com. And the highlight of this news article and it reads for the sit down lesson Russia and China have plans to bypass with Moscow it says the trade partners have been uh, boosting transactions and national currency according to Alexander Novak if I pronounce his name right oh excuse me Salakia it says um, Moscow and Beijing are developing a system of settlements which could allow a cross-border transaction without using the Western financial messaging system SWIFT. It says uh, Deputy Prime Minister Alexander Noskov uh, revealed on Tuesday that the two countries have reportedly accelerating efforts to move away from the U.S. dollar and the euro, euro, uh, euro towards settlements and domestic currencies and gas contracts. We are ready to s switching to settlements and national currency in rubies and yen on a uh, particularly base supplies of oil and oil and oil products as well as coal are also being switched to payments in a national currency uh, he explained according to Nova this could help avoid financial risks to facilitate transactions of the rub ruble and yen into rural reserve currencies in this regard the central banks of Russia and the People's Bank of China are working a possibility of opening accounts for Russian companies in China and vice versa, creating a settlement system without using a SWIFT, Novak said. It says uh, Russian President Vladimir Putin has early called for a new independent financial platform for international settlements, stressing that the global economic should be more open, unbiased. Moscow has been promoting its own domestic payment system as a reliable alternative to Swiss since many of the country's banks were discontinued from the from the Western financial networks early this year, right? Due to the uh, United States and Western countries that's allies with the United States using those economic sanctions on, uh, I believe, China in Russia and Iran and North Korea as well too due to their uh, actions of what they're doing right now so now you got this story right here recently uh, showing that China and uh, Russia is uh, separating themselves from the dollar and they, uh, they come in with the, uh, a trade part part partner agreement to boosting transactions of a national currency as they separate from the uh, Western dollar and they separating from the American dollar as well, too. That goes, you should show you another indication that these nations uh, step further more and more now than ever separating from the American dollar, the U.S. dollar. And then uh, they come with their own form of currencies like rubies and yen, and they definitely separating from the uh, euro dollar as well too, which is from the Euro 
uh, euro dollar. Uh, yeah, they separating from the euro dollar and the uh, American dollar as well too. So they coming up with their own form of currency, like uh, importing and exporting uh, business trade partners from Russia and China. Just like the uh, other countries are separating from as well too, India, right, China, Russia, and India, and many other countries that's following the lead as well too. Especially, I believe, like uh, Ghana, Jamaica, Nigeria. You know, they got their own form of a uh, currency that they're uh, coming up. So they are separating from the American dollar, and they separate from the euro dollar as well too. Even though the U.S. dollar still got some type of uh, strength uh, globally, but showing a clear signs that these nations are separating from the American dollar. And that's what we're seeing. Because you got uh, Russia and China. Now they increasingly their, uh, you know, their uh, partnership with one another of their own currency. So it shows you another further step closer to the MOTB, which is that Karak one, you know. And I'm about to bring that out as well, too. It shows you a indicator that we moving step closer to the MOTB, which is that Karak one. And this is the book of Revelations, chapter 13, verse 16. He calls all both small and great, rich or poor, free or bond to receive a M-A-R-K in their right H-A-N-D or in their F-O-R-E H-E-A-D-S right if you're rich or poor you know free of bond you know to receive that M-A-R-K if you know what I mean on the right part of your body in the uh, upper part of your body as well too you know because we're uh, approaching that time when that uh, MOTB uh, you know that currency you know because the uh, currency of the uh, paper dollar is going to be no more value because we've seen in the increasing signs of that you know it's going to turn into everything is going to be full uh, mandatory digital because we're going to be living in a full mandatory digital uh, society. And that's what we're getting close to living in, you know. Because, you know, the paper dollar is still value right now. The euro dollar and the American dollar is still value right now. But it's going to come a time when there is no longer be no more value. Because everything is going to be full uh, digital. <laughs> So yeah, that shows you uh Salakio. Let's talk to my brother about some. But yeah, it shows you a clear sign that the MOTB it's right around the corner. And it is definitely approaching. And we seeing it because everything is gonna be full digitally. In that time to come. Oh no, I ain't getting it. <laughs> verse Revelations uh, 13 and 17 and that no man might buy or sell he that has the M-A-R-K or the name of the B-E-A-S-T 
or the number of his name, which we know what that means. The S I X. So yeah, you know, in order to do like transactions or buy or sell, it's going to be a uh, digitize uh, the digital currency. And that's what we're entering into. The uh, It's going to be full uh, uh, potentially getting close to a full mandatory of digital currency. Even though we're living in a di digital currency uh, society already. But when it shows a clear sign that the paper dollar is going to be no more value. It's going to turn into digital currency, you know. In order to... Uh, have that currency to like buy or sell or like transaction you know you gotta have that you know what inside of you you know to make transactions because you know they've been showing it a, a couple of months ago over there in Switzerland uh, places like uh, India places uh, here in the United States as well too they showed a clear example of that I believe it was in October or September with the Tesla you know, you uh, scan your, you know, scan your body on the car to be able to access and to open it and to drive as well, too. So we're, you know, we're living in that full digital age, you know, that digital currency uh, transaction society. And we're getting a step more closer to that because, uh, you know, these other countries, you know, they look at the... Uh, they're starting to, uh, in the process to have like uh, rubies and gold and silver to have transactions to like import and exporting like oil and gas and other manufactured transactions from these businesses and these companies as well too. So everything is going to be like getting to that point of rubies and gold and silver. That's going to be the new currency because that paper dollar is going to be no more value. Even though the paper value is value in all these countries, but the main ones of the U.S. dollar and the euro dollar is no more be value when that time approaches. And we're approaching those times of we're fully mandatory going to live in a full digital currency society of the paper dollar of the US and the Euro is going to be no more value very soon. And we're seeing that, you know, and it's getting a further step closer to that. It says Revelations 13 and 18. Here is the wisdom. Let him that understand count the number of the B-E-A-S-T for it is the number of a man and his number is S-I-X hundred three scores and S I X, which is that number, uh, that number S I X, you know, triple S I X, if you know what I mean, you know. So, you know, we're approaching that time when the MOTB, that Karaka digital currency, a full digital currency of the US and the Euro dollar. It's continuing to slip away and it's going to be no more value very soon. Even though it got good value, but very soon it's going to turn from paperless. You know, it's going to be a paperless dollar, which is a digital currency system. It's currently being set up and it's going to be set up around the world as well, too. And definitely here in the United States, because the paper dollar is going to be no more uh, in value is going to turn to full digital currency and that's the times we're approaching and it's coming slowly but surely you know so as you see you know russia and china uh you know turns away from the uh euro dollar and the u.s dollar as well too as they create their own form of currency as these two nations partner up with one another to boost the transaction, you know, do business with one another to import and export both from their 
respectable countries, you know. So that's what we're seeing as these two nations right here are separating from the U.S. and Euro dollar. Hmm. I think it charges like the interest. Yep. I think you take like cash off it. They charge like ten dollars. Cause the minimum you can take off is like twenty, I think. And then they they charge like ten dollars. <laughs> yeah. They charge you ten dollars. When I that cash back mm, they only charge like a a dollar and ten cent because it was a small transaction. Like if it was, if it's like a a, a good significant amount of it, that's when they had to charge the higher interest rate. So they put in the extra eighteen cent, the extra ten cent or something. Yeah, extra. Uh, if you take out like 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 you saying like two dollars or one dollar something like that. They only charge for like a dollar fifty, something like that. But if you do like a large transaction of withdrawing some money, yeah, they charge like ten or fifteen dollars. <laughs> yeah. Which ain't bad though. If you take out a small amount of money though, they just charge a little, which is good. But the large amount of interest rate he has here. <laughs> that look dance. Plus, it's not even known that yet either, too. So, <laughs> so. it's all right. It's gonna be all right. For the momentary to pause, I'm to talk to my brother once again. So yeah, it shows you another clear indication and increasing sign of uh, the support of the uh, U.S. dollar and the euro is fading away. You know, from these countries that used to be uh, increasingly partners, partnership and allies with the United States and the euro as well too. As they continue to slip away from it, they come with their own form of currency. But you see that with India, China, and Russia, and the and other countries as well too. They're coming up with their own form of currency, which is uh rubies and silver and gold at the moment right now. But it's gonna turn into a digital currency, and the other countries gonna follow the lead as well too. So with that, I uh, hope this lesson was edifying. Through the spirit, power, grace, and mercy of your Hawaii Al Shai. And first and foremost, I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to to Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shai, Bashem Akarkadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, preaching this word truthfully and sincerely. And shalom to the Akim, scattered through the four corners of the globe, preaching the word truthfully and sincerely, that be like unto the speckled bird. And until next time, I will say shalom and a ball, ball, ball.